This is Alexander Playtime Williams of PlaytimeCares.com. What's up, world? This is Alexander Playtime Williams of PlaytimeCares.com. Giving you my SmackDown recap of July 16, 2015. This one was held in Birmingham, Alabama. You had Jerry the King Lawler, Jimmy Uso, and Tom Phillips as your commentators. You know, this is three days before uh, the pay per view battleground. So, normally, traditionally, Generally speaking, they normally don't have decent shows, the live event before pay-per-view. But this one was actually pretty decent. I, if I would have paid my money, I would not have been upset to actually attend and watch this one. It started off with uh, Roman Reigns coming to the ring, and they just showed the raw recap of him jumping Bray Wyatt uh, before his match with Dean Ambrose, jumping uh, Bray Wyatt from the back. And he saying that you know why he can't break his focus and you know he, and you know he gonna beat him for battleground and he announced he was gonna be teaming with Dean Ambrose for a tag team match tonight and why it ended up interrupted it being on the jumble drive and uh, say that Roman Reigns is a monument and that he's a hammer and he's gonna lower his hammer on the monument and break it during battleground well destroy it he said and um. Wyatt also told him to kiss all his loved ones goodbye because there's no guarantee that he's going to even make it back from Battleground. That's pretty, uh, <laughs> I kind of like that. That's that's pretty that's pretty graphic. It's like Mike Tyson saying that he's going to eat his children. You know, he want to eat his children. That's <laughs> I kind of like that. Um, so the first match you actually had was Lucha Dragons versus The New Day. Uh, Xavier Woods sitting this one out uh, of the uh, three. And then you had the primetime players on commentary. And it was a decent match. It was a decent pace. And um, I was actually surprised the number of high impact moves that they did, and a, a lot, the number of aerial assault type moves that they did throughout the match, considering it's so close to a pay per view. And um, when it's all said and done, you know, just like the Bella team, Bella, and all that type of stuff, the numbers game, you know, pretty much played the factor in the match, and the Lucha Dragons end up losing it. But it was a decent match. It was uh, about an eight out of ten. Then the New Days. You know, the New Day told the primetime players that they're going to win the titles back at a battleground and even start a new, new chant. <laughs> you know, it was, oh, man, the crowd really loves to hate the New Day. So it was, that was uh, pretty good. So then they went to uh, to the back and showed uh, Roman Reigns and Dane Ambrose speaking. And uh, Roman Reigns pretty much said that he can't wait to, you know, beat up. Bray Wyatt, but his focus is on Sheamus and the Big Show tonight. That's who, uh, you know, him and Dean Ambrose will be fighting tonight. And But he said if Wyatt shows up, he's going to end up, um, you know, he's going to end up hurting him. He's not going to even make it to Battleground. So your next match was King Bear versus Jack Swagger. Started off with a Forge USA chance. And it was, uh, I had this match was pretty, it was pretty, it was like a stale pace match. You know, it wasn't nothing really exciting about it. Um, Swagger, he had a pretty decent run, but it looks like he got slapped, sloppy in one move. And, you know, that weak bull hammer nonsense came and he knocked him out and got the pin victory. You know, King Bear got the pin victory. Match about a 7 out of 10. Our truth came to the uh, top of the stage with his um, towel around his neck and the, the plunger. You know, his King, what's up? Burger King hat on. And Bear pretty much told him, look, I won the king of the ring, and you're making a mockery of my accomplishments. And everybody before me that accomplished this, you know, I'm going to beat you so bad at Battleground where you ain't going to have a choice but to, you know, look up at, look up at me and say, oh, hell, King Bear, you know. So um, the next thing that happened was a recap of all the issues that, I, it wasn't all of the issues, but the main issues that's, uh, became of Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar, you know, starting from WrestleMania and ending with, you know, him, you know, uh, beating up stuff, beating up cards and stuff with axes and hurting his boys. So um, the next match was Rusev with Summer Rae versus Cesaro. And then they did a raw recap of um, the triple threat match where it was Cesaro, Rusev, and Kevin Owens fighting for a chance to get the U.S. title away from uh, John Cena. And, um, First thing that happened, we won't line a chance. Um, this was a really good match. It was a physical match. It was a back and forth match. And, you know, uh, one thing I really liked about it was Rusev decided 
to go aerial. You know, he could have won a match, uh, but he decided to go on the top rope and do like a big splash off the top rope. And then uh, Cesaro hit him with an uppercut while he was in the air. And um, Cesaro got the pin victory. Match was about an 8 out of 10. And uh, they interviewed Sheamus and it was letting him know that, you know, he got, you know, big challenges, whether it's Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose tonight, or if it's Randy Orton for, you know, uh, the pay-per-view, the battleground. And Sheamus pretty much said, look, I'm a big guy, so I take on big challenges. That's big, you know, it's too big for small people, you know, but I'm a big guy. And um, he said that he's going to really hurt Randy Orton because he dislikes him because of the personal nature of it. He said every other time is business, but not this time is personal, so he's going to hurt Orton. And then you had a rematch from Raw, um, Neville versus Stardust. They started off with a Raw recap of the Neville and Stardust match where uh, Stardust was able to get the pin victory by holding Neville tights. And um, once the match started, you had a whole bunch of Cody chants from the crowd. And it was a short match, but decent match. Uh, Neville actually got a really, um, a really creative roll pin victory on him, you know, the way that he put it together was really uh, sweet. About a 7 out of 10 match. So um, they interviewed Neville about he's went over Cody. I mean, you know, Stardust. And Stardust attacked him from behind and left him uh, just unconscious on the floor. And then they did a raw recap of the Divas division. You know, what Stephanie McMahon did on Raw where she brought in all of those NXT people. Now you have kind of like a Team Bella versus Team... Um, Page versus Team Naomi, you know, they haven't officially named them that, but that's what I'm calling them. Um, so uh, then they had an interview, JoJo did an interview with Team Naomi, which would be Na Naomi, Tamina, of course, and the NXT champ, Sasha Banks. And uh, Naomi pretty much said that, look, we the team to beat, which is true if you look at the three teams, they are the team to beat, and she called themselves, he said they the team to beat because they're bad, which, uh, Best at dominating, stand for best at dominating. So they, that really is the truth in that one. They do really do have the best makeup. You know, Naomi's the most athletic. Sasha Banks, you know, she she got what she brings to the table. Then you got Tamina. I mean, she's the biggest one there. She got the muscle. So you know, uh, they are they are the team to beat. Writers, go ahead and write that in. I mean, stop stop uh, you know holding that that particular squad back. Um, the last match was Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns versus The Big Show and Sheamus, of course. And, uh, hey, the star of that match was the, the Big Show. It really was. He came in there. He was dominating stuff. He made the crowd hate him. Once he started getting beat up, the crowd really got excited, energized, and whatnot. And um, uh, Roman Reigns and Sheamus, when they start fighting each other, they kept the crowd going. But um, Big Show and Ambrose... Dean Ambrose did, you know, he saved because Sheamus actually hit Roman Reigns with the white noise finisher. Boom. Um, Dean Ambrose came in, jumped on Sheamus while it was two to break up that, that pin count, and then continued to move and um, did a, a drop kick to the Big Show legs, which kicked him off of the side of the ring. Boom. Then Dean Ambrose went against the, the, the rope. Went back, dove through the middle rope at the Big Show. Big Show caught him by his neck, held him up in the air for a little bit, brought him to choke slam him to the um, announcer's table. Dean Ambrose reversed that, and they both kind of boom. Dean Ambrose DDT them, and Big Show kind of choke slammed them. So they was out the match. So it was up to Roman Reigns and uh, Sheamus to, um, to finish out the match. And uh, Roman Reigns was able to get that Superman punch. Boom. He set it up. He was in the corner waiting to get the, get the spear on uh, Sheamus while Sheamus get up. Wyatt come from out of nowhere. Bray Wyatt, boom, attack him. So, that means Roman Reigns and um, Dean Ambrose end up winning the match by DQ. He, you know, Wyatt beating on him. About to put him in the sister Abigail. He puts him in the sister Abigail. About to do it. Roman Reigns roll out of it and end up getting a Superman punch on them. Boom. Sheamus tried to bro kick him. He ducked that, bounced off the rope, boom, hit him with the spear. That's how it ended. Pretty decent raw before a pay-per-view. Follow me on everything. It's always Playtime Cares. You can even donate on my webpage. Comment on everything. I love comments. Peace.